New tonight, an update to a story that we brought you last week. A woman very worried about her mother living in a nursing home would get COVID before she was able to get the vaccine. Well, now that fear has become reality. Two Works For You's Brady Halbleib joins me now with her story and call to action. Brady. Karen, thank you. Judy Thompson is now praying for her mother's recovery after her mom tested positive for the virus on Friday. Her 87-year-old mother now hospitalized and fighting for her life. I'm so afraid that something's going to happen before, right at the end here. Um, and that would just be so sad. The fear of her mother contracting the virus now switching to fear that she won't survive after her mother tested positive just two days later. Of course, my biggest fear going forward is that now that she won't make it through this. Her mother transported to Hillcrest Medical Center just 24 hours later after her oxygen levels took a sharp downward turn. I'm feeling angry. I'm feeling frustrated. I'm mainly feeling scared. To make matters worse, her mother is now being transported to a COVID unit in Pryor. This after she spent a night in a Hillcrest hallway because the hospital was over capacity. We're scared to death that she won't make it through this. And if she doesn't, it will be a disgrace because it could have been prevented. In a press conference Monday, Deputy Commissioner Keith Reed addressed the issue, saying CVS and Walgreens continue to vaccinate nursing home and assisted living residents daily, but says the rate of vaccinations is slower because pharmacies are dealing with federal partners. Absolutely understand the concerns uh, for getting those facilities vaccinated, but that particular program, the federal pharmacy partner program is managed through at the federal level. We don't have control over those organizations. Commissioner Reed says the program was aimed to assist state and local health departments distribute the vaccine quicker by taking care of one of the top priority groups. However, Thompson's frustration now joined by sadness as she prays for her mother's recovery. I'm just so scared and upset and worried. Now we've reached out to Baptist Village, CVS and Walgreens to find out if they have a contract with one another for those vaccines and we have not yet heard back from them. Brady Halbleib, two works for you.